All right, so as you can see, the pool's looking pretty good. You can definitely see to the bottom now. But there are some leaves. The water line's a little dirty. There were some storms last night. So there's some junk in the pool. And I've made things better by, with some chemicals after a test, not too much because it's a salt water pool used to generate chlorine. Um, and then I've been vacuuming mostly with the dolphin that I'm gonna throw in here. And we're gonna see how it does. I've noticed it gets stuck on the ladder sometimes, which is pretty easy to take off. And we'll give it a test here of kind of like basic maintenance once you've kind of got the pool open and somewhat clean. So we've been swimming in it, so this is kind of a good test, even though it's not very hot yet and the water's still reasonably clear. So I'm gonna give you a view of the underwater here, and then I'll throw the dolphin in and we'll check things out. minutes into the clean and it's already got a lot of the junk from the floor and the deep end. We'll see how it does with the uh, water line and everything like that throughout the cleaning. All right, so the dolphin's done. You can see it stopped there. It definitely did a good job cleaning everything up off of the bottom. So A plus there. Everything is really clean. I wasn't watching it, so I don't know how good of a job it does on the water line. It still looks a little bit dirty to me. So I don't think that this, as advertised, they don't, it's not a false advertisement, but I don't think this vacuum does a good job with the water line. So I think the best thing to do is to scrub that first. You can see what would fit there. It's not much. And then let the vacuum, the filtration system do its work underneath. So. I'll show you a quick look of the underwater view after the vacuum is done. So let's see what this thing cleaned up today. gunk in there. It's not too bad though. So it did a good job of cleaning up the smaller particles and everything. Let's go take this over and hose it off and see what we got. Here's the inside of the filters. So it picked up a decent amount of stuff, but it was not too bad at cleaning. So it's getting pretty small stuff that it saw on the bottom, which is good. The pool's definitely cleaner. Let me know if you have any questions. Sometimes the dolphin gets stuck on this stupid ladder, so it definitely has some issues, but it's still a good product. Hey everybody, as you know, I've been using that Dolphin Nautilus CC Plus, and then we have mostly Pentair equipment on our new pool. Things have been going for a few weeks here, and the water is crystal clear. I'm gonna show you just how good it looks underwater here. Let me throw this camp GoPro underwater. about twice a week. I don't use the cool one that much. 
I use the dolphin mostly. I haven't put any chemicals in here other than some salt and alkaline, al well, whatever, alkalinization stuff in the beginning, some calcium, and we've left it alone since then. So pretty low maintenance if you just clean the debris, clean your skimmer, and do a little vacuum with your uh, vacuuming with your robot.